Hi guys, Mikko here. Today we will talk about my love life during the adventure. What will it look like? What are the different possible scenarios that might end up happening and how and why and juicy stuff. But first we need to get one thing out of the way. This channel just reached 1500 subscribers. I'm so grateful that you're here. It means the world to me. People are actually watching my travel vlog even though there hasn't been much traveling so far. So this is like a proof of concept. There is an audience for this type of stuff. But now let's move on to the topic of the day. Love life during the adventure. I must admit I've been thinking a lot about it. At the moment I'm single, so it's not like I'm leaving anyone behind. But yeah, love life on the road. Is it even possible? Will I be just a lonely, unsocial hermit? Or is it more like a, hmm, there's a stranger in town type of situation? But maybe sometimes a bit of both, I guess. But let's dive deeper into the topic. First of all, I'm a firm believer that even if you're single, you should still have something that resembles a love life. And I don't mean that you should just run after one-night stands, but I believe that you should try to make things happen instead of waiting them to happen to you, if you know what I mean. And about being single. I'm completely fine with that. Sure, I would love to have a relationship, to have someone to share everyday life with. And I have been in long-term relationships, but there's nothing wrong in being single. For me, it's actually sort of the normal state of things, meaning I'm usually single. Unlike many people who I know who just jump from one long-term relationship to the next, and that's a normal thing for them, and they're never single, and there's nothing Nothing wrong with that either. It, I think it's just down to different personality types. Okay, moving on. Love life on the road. <laughs> it's It kind of sounds like a very bad book or a very good blog post, but let's break this down. Let's tackle the simple scenarios first. One night stands. Sure, why not? And sure, I know that I should say that one night stands are so meaningless and they leave you feeling so empty inside. And sure, uh, I know mo most of the time it's completely true but also at the same time it's kind of the one of the most boring opinions you can ever have sometimes the night is great it is what you make of it and when you think of the context, when you travel on a daily basis from place to place, every day and every night can be special somehow. And when you add deep emotional and or physical connection to it, it can be very magical and meaningful. Okay, so how about dating apps like Tinder? I've actually been thinking that something like Tinder might be a great way to meet locals. My relationship with Tinder is kind of weird though, because first of all, I, I think that Tinder is one of the best things that has come out of this whole smartphone revolution we're living. It makes it easier for people to meet and it's especially important for us shy and introverted Finns who make it so <laughs> fucking difficult to meet new people unless there's alcohol involved. So because of that I think that Tinder is great because it gets people late. But I cannot use it. I had it on my phone once and I did a couple of swipes and cut a couple of matches, but I never met anyone through it for the simple reason that I hate chatting so much. I don't even like to chat with people I know, not to speak of strangers. And sure, there might be a nice picture, but I know that usually the pictures don't match reality. And yeah, Tinder was just impossible equation for me. I, it's, I guess I'm old fashioned. But yeah, I really like Tinder as a concept. I actually had this video idea that I might do when I get on the road, and that is to use Tinder as a language learning tool. The video would be called Learning French in Tinder. I just think that it would be funny to practice the language, but in the context of 
trying to get laid. <laughs> Would you watch something like that? But yeah, enough about Tinder, let's move on. Other type of thing that might happen when you're traveling is that you meet other travelers and for a period of time you travel along the same path until you part ways. Might happen and sounds kind of beautiful actually. They might be hitchhikers or other people traveling with a car and that kind of thing sounds awesome actually when there's a lot in common there would be a lot to talk about. Yeah, might happen. But then how about someone becoming an actual girlfriend and moving into the car with me? <laughs> First of all, that would require the person to have a quite a flexible life situation. Like, I just met this guy and now I'm gonna move in to his car. <laughs> sure, might happen. Sometimes life situations are flexible. But yeah, okay, let's presume that someone moves in. Now what? I'm a YouTuber, I'm filming and editing almost on a daily basis. It's basically a job at that point. If she has a job she can do on her laptop, that's awesome. If not, what will she do when I'm doing my editing? One of my previous videos took 9 hours to edit. I also feel that it's that kind of work where there really can't be any interruptions. Will I just kick her out of the car and go enjoy the city? <laughs> I'm working. Then of course there's the question that would that person be a part of my videos, like in front of the camera. I guess they'd have to be because they're part of my everyday life and what I'm doing as a vlogger, I'm documenting my everyday life. And this, this brings us to the most important and interesting question of all. And I don't know the answer to this, but this is, this is interesting. Imagine this, I'm traveling in my car, which is also my home. I'm constantly filming myself telling my story and fulfilling my vision of something. Then a girl enters into that. Is there really room for anyone in that whole thing? Is there a possibility for a healthy, equal relationship when everything is just about me, 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 me? <laughs> Sure, there's a lot of room for unhealthy relationship where I'm, I'm the lead character and she's some sort of sidekick. But yeah, everything is only speculation at this point. But I have to say that I've been thinking a lot <laughs> about these things. What do you think? Is it possible to make a relationship work in that kind of situation? I'd be really interested in hearing your thoughts in the comments. Write them below and if you like this video click the like button and subscribe if you haven't already and see you on Wednesday.